today we're going to be comparing quantities using ratios. Write the letter of the rate that matches each ratio. If I look at the first one, $7.50, three pounds. I want to take $7.50 and divide it by three pounds. When I do that, I get $2.50, which makes C, my correct answer, $2.50 for every one pound. The second problem, I have $3.74 to five pounds. I wanna take $3.74, divide it by five, and I get 74 and eight, so I would round it up, making it 75 cents for every one pound. The correct answer is A. Looking at the third problem, I have $6 to four pounds. Six divided is $1.50. Making the correct answer for this one D. Using the information that I have, I can estimate that B is going to be my correct answer for the last one. If we check it, $13.50 divided by six is $2.25. So B, $2.25 for each one pound. Destiny earned $97.50 for 10 hours of work. Jocelyn earned $110 for 11 hours of work. How much did each person earn per hour? How can you use this information to compare their earnings? Destiny, I put it as a fraction, 97.50 over 10. Jocelyn, I put it as a fraction, as 110 over 11. Remember, Fractions are a numerator divided by a denominator. When I divide 97.50 by 10, I get $9.75 per hour, which would be the rate Destiny earns money. I want to take Jocelyn's and I want to do the same thing. And I want to say 110 divided by 11 and I get $10 per hour. As you can see, I crossed off how much did each person earn per hour. We've already answered that part of the question. Now we wanna to go to the second part. How can you use this information to compare their earnings? How would we compare what they make? We wanna look at the rate that each girl earned their money. You can compare the rate Jocelyn makes more money than Destiny because $10 per hour is larger than $9.50 per hour. The ratio of girls to boys in a student basketball league is five to six. Choose true or false for each statement. A, for every five girls in the league, there are six boys. If I go back to my question, I'm comparing girls to boys and the ratio is five to six. So girls goes with five and boys goes with six. This is very true. B, for every six girls in the league, there are five boys. False. The comparison is girls to boys. Remember, word order matters. The five goes with the number of girls since it was listed first, not boys. C, there are exactly 11 students in the league. False. Five plus six does equal 11, but the ratio does not have to be all the students in the league. It is a comparison. And just like a fraction, it can be simplified. D, the ratio of girls to total students in the league is five to 11. This is true because five plus six does equal 11. So 11 would be the total 
in comparison to the number of girls for 11 students. E. There could be 20 girls and 24 boys. Hmm. If I put it as a fraction, 5 over 6, and I want to see if it's equivalent to 20 over 24. 5 times 4 equals 20, and 6 times 4 equals 24. So just like an equivalent fraction, it makes it an equivalent ratio. True. F, there could be 15 girls and 20 boys. Hmm, five over six in comparison to 15 over 20. In order to get from five to 15, I would need to multiply by three. This is false because five times three equals 15. In order to make an equivalent ratio, you would need to multiply six times three and get 18, not 20. 